everybody and welcome to another Camp Cretaceous video and for today's we're going to be discussing the Mosasaurus because as we all know, well if you haven't spoilers, Camp Cretaceous Season 3's last two episodes took place during and after the events of the opening for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, which means, as we all know, the Mosasaurus is officially free and, well it was by accident, but here's the thing. What we're going to be talking about is what's, what's its role going to be in Camp Cretaceous because one of the biggest um, questions people have had for Fallen Kingdom is what happened to the Mosasaurus during the gap between the opening and the current time of Fallen Kingdom because the time of the opening takes place in early 2016 and the opening and the rest of Fallen Kingdom takes place in mid-2018 so that's a year and a half um, for sure. Here's the thing, what did it do? Well, we might be getting some answers in Camp Cretaceous Season 4 because the kids have just gotten off the island with Tiff, Mitch and Tiff's boat that was left behind. And so I think what's going to happen is the Mosasaurus is going to be the reason for their lack of escape. Now, I think what's going to happen is in one of the early episodes, like maybe the first episode or two could be them dealing with them, whatever's on the boat, because remember, we still have that creature that's on the boat, which could be a Scorpius Rex, a Baryonyx, or it could be anything on that boat. We don't know what it is, and we'll cover that in a future video. But the Mosasaurus will probably play a role. I definitely think so, because lately the Mosasaurus has not been getting as much love as it deserves. Like Fallen Kingdom, it only had two scenes, and they were awesome scenes, let, let me tell you, but... I, I definitely agree with a lot of people who wanted more of the Mosasaurus, and especially for Camp Cretaceous. Like, Season 2, I understand why it wasn't used. Like, there was no reason for the kids to be anywhere near at that time. But I think for Season 4, they're going to probably end up using the Mosasaurus. Like, they're going to be on the boat, like, getting away from the island, and they're going to be having a party or something. Like, maybe they maybe they haven't dealt with the um, creature under the boat yet, but let's just say they haven't, the Mosasaurus could suddenly bump their boat, like something big hits their boat, they all go like, what was that? And then suddenly an animal, something, or is swimming by like a whale or something, God, this is going to be sad. But they see it, they're like, oh wow, and then boom, the Mosasaurus will lunge out, grab it, and they'll be like, oh my God, we've got to turn around. Because they know that if the most, since the most source is right there and it's huge, remember guys, it's way bigger than that boat. If they would realistically um, turn around and stuff, the most source could probably start attacking them, damage the boat, where there's the point that they have no choice but to go. They have no other choice. Other, they either stay here and die from the Mosasaurus or by sinking, or they go back to an island whichever one it could be. They could be far out in ocean and then they see an island and they're like, okay, let's go. Even if it's Isla Nublar, who cares? And this could be used to help connect to Is how they get to Isla Sorna because I know a lot of people don't seem to think that the compass that Kenji has is broken, but let's just be clear. They don't know which direction um, they're going in. Like they could be on the wrong side for all we know. Like they could be, like Sorna's, um, um, 87 miles southwest of, um, Isla Nublar, so they could be on, if they were, say, on one of the southern docks, and they were pointing the wrong way, they could be actually heading to there, so that could be possibility, and with the Mosasaurus, they could have no choice but to be stuck on Sorna, which, realistically, would be a very big problem for them, because, unlike with Isla Nublar, I'm pretty sure they will be stuck there forever, because they'll have no way of getting out off there, which, now that I think about it, if they go to Sorna, they're basically dead. But, what do you guys think? Do you think the Mosasaurus is going to play a big role? Like, do you think that it's going to be for forcing them to go to Isla Sorna, or like, be stuck on Isla Sorna, which realistically makes sense why a whole season on Isla Sorna would happen, because if it was to damage the boat, then they would have no choice but to stay on there until they could fix it somehow. I don't know how they'd fix it, but somehow life finds a way. We'll give them that. Or do you think that they're going to be sent back to Isla Nublar out of fear of the Mosasaurus? I feel like 
it could happen both ways. I'm leaning more to the Nublar one, which I know a lot of people aren't going to be happy with because, like, I know we all love Isla Nublar, I love Isla Nublar, but we love Isla Sorna too, and we want to see um, the kids try and survive on there. Like, it's going to be a harder island, like, there may not be as many dinosaurs as there are on Nublar, but there's less things for them to use to survive. Like, the only place they could go for safety, and that's a big if, is the worker village or the second facility that we see in JP3. But even those are big danger spots. But what do you think about the Mosasaurus returning for season four? Do you think it's going to be the cause of them being stuck on an island again? Or do you think that maybe it's not even going to appear at all and they're just going to accidentally make it to Isla Sorna on their own? Who knows? Well, we'll find out hopefully in September when the, um, when, you know, season four most likely will come out if we think about the gaps between each season. But if you've enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate the like, and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt as we get closer and closer to um, a thousand subscribers, because I'd hope we could get there before um, the one year anniversary of the ch channel, guys. I'd really appreciate it. But be safe, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye bye